News shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2025. I'm at the Nikon booth. Now, this is the new ZR that was just announced the other day. Correct. Um, run me through it. Yes. So, ZR, the first uh, cinema-oriented camera from Nikon. You know, we're known for our hybrid cameras, Z9, Z8, Z63, etc. So, this is the first camera from Nikon built together with RED uh, to actually target the, the video audience specifically. And how long has this camera been in development for? Well, I can't say exactly, but it's been a few years. Uh, it's not that we've been taking ages because, you know, it's just shy of two years that we acquired RED. And basically from day one onwards, RED and Nikon threw together their development teams and started working. So the first outcome being the, the v Raptor X and the Commodore X coming out with the Nikon autofocus system with a Z-mount as well. And uh, now, and this is the latest in the Nikon Z cinema lineup. This is sort of a hybrid mix, I guess, between Nikon and RED because yeah. you've got RED RAW in there. Well, a, yes. a different version of RED RAW. So speaking about that, how yeah. is that different from actual RED RAW? Well, the, the, actually, the only difference is that this is a 12-bit version of the RED RAW codec. The, the RED RAW codec you will find in the other models is 16-bit, so much more dynamic range in this regard. But actually, the, the core and the whole structure is RED RAW. So you take this file, you throw it into your NLE, like DaVinci Resolve 20.2 is reading this format already. And uh, yeah, you can, without any problem, seamlessly fit it into your workflow. This is very compact, very small, um, large four inch flip out LCD screen. I guess it made most sense for uh, Nikon to target this particular market, this sort of market at this entry level, yeah. rather than with now your imagination with RED, you've got the Komodo and stuff. So yeah. I guess this is a sort of sweet spot between, say, a say a, you know, a Z6, Z8, and between a Komodo, this is sort of what falls yeah. in that space? Absolutely. The idea is not to, to uh, actually go into competition with our own brand, because we're one company right now, right? So it would be pitching against our products would be stupid. So what we are opening is actually an entry point into this whole cinema world of RED as well, because RED is, well, it has many, many fans because of the color science and the quality of the files. But of course, it comes at a price point, especially when you're young, you're starting out. So this is actually the perfect entry point. Or if you're a seasoned red shooter with an established road, with an established um, workflow, this is a perfect C-cam or B-cam, which you can just set up and let roll, have B-roll, and then fit it into the NLE later on. This, speaking of um, recording, I mean, this offers three different raw recording formats plus compressed yeah, recording formats, so a yeah. lot of versatility depending on what you're doing. Yes. Well, we've been, we've been busy on that for many, many years. As you know, we introduced internal raw recording with Z9, Z8, and, and also previous cameras like Z63. All of them have internal raw recording. And, uh, yeah, through that knowledge and competence, it was easier for us also to make R3D happen inside this camera, also with the help of RED, of course, otherwise it wouldn't be, all, uh, be uh, happening. But uh, yeah, we think it's better because your production footprint becomes so much smaller. You can record everything inside the camera, you know, no need for external recorders and, 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 and adding to the footprint. So this is the perfect all. And in audio, you've got 32-bit internal uh, float recording on this camera? Yes, first uh, actually in this price class, definitely. Uh, 32-bit float audio based on also technology from Nokia. So five different patterns to uh, choose from. And on top, digital out. So we have a digital hot shoe on this camera, but you can also run line in, line out on this camera with a three and a half millimeter jack. So all the standards you like are available. Any plans for in the future maybe to make an XLR handle on top of here? Well, there, there will be plenty of accessories becoming available. For example, uh, Tascam from the start will support uh, the XLR uh, output for this camera with the digital hot shoe. So if they announce the product, it will become available at the time this camera ships. So this is great news. And there's more accessories to come, yeah. And um, I mean, it's a really good low entry price considering the yeah. capabilities this camera's got. I guess some things, as you said before, not to step on the toes of red. That's probably why we're not seeing things like open gate recording. Well, open gate recording, yes. I mean, it, there are pros and cons around that. Many people are asking for that. I had a few discussions uh, during the show 
And then people said like, yeah, open gate recording would be nice, but actually you run on 6K, so the pain is less to really have it. For us, um, looking at, at our, our sensor, sensor technology, our firmware, we can look into adjustments, making the adjustments depending on the effort. You know, Nikon is famous for its firmware updates. Looking at the Z9, the camera is now at version 5.1. Totally different beast than from the start. I expect nothing less from this one. So I know you probably can't answer this, but looking forward, we're probably likely to see more entry-level digital cinema cameras coming from Nikon? Yeah, whether it will be more entry or advanced, time will tell. Uh, you know, we're not telling, uh, talking about the future products uh, as much, but it's very clear the the, the merger between uh, RED and Nikon teams is not for nothing. It will be a very expensive thing for just one camera. No, there will be more. We're looking into a future of RED and Nikon together, giving a full line of experience uh, in the long end. And one further question, which is sort of a, maybe a little bit off this, but uh cinema lenses is that something yes. you're also looking into we're looking into that yes <laughs> full stop <laughs>